a little bit of a history of, of my experience with the pool seal. I had the house for about eight years and after about the third year I realized that the joint around it, which was the deca seal, which was that, that caulk uh, type stuff, the gray stuff, was coming apart. And at first I thought that it was meant for uh, decorative purposes. But as the years went by and the winters happened and tiles started popping off, I realized that the seal is much more than for looks. It's, it's to keep the water from getting in behind the, the coping and, and freezing and uh, pushing out the tile. So um, for me, it really became a necessity to, to find something good. Stumbled across uh, the, the pool seal a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, the first year was, uh, was good. It was, uh, so I've just started taking out the old joint and uh, I'm really excited about the new generation the last generation I was super impressed with this this is rock solid this is almost a sin to cut up but I wanted to match the new joint watch how hard it is to get this stuff out I'll get this cleaned up, get some dry sand in, and uh, go with the goo. The area where the joint is going to go has all been prepped, and what I've actually done is I've taken this uh, stick here, measured it at a half inch, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the entire pool just to make sure that I've got the proper depth of a half inch pool seal stuff. I got the applicator bottle, pool goo, pool seal the topping sand. I got a dustpan and brush so that when I put the topping sand on I could go and, and reclaim it to reuse it. I got my drill, I got my bucket for mixing, I've got my paddle bit here. And what I did is I just drilled a hole on top so when I go ahead and drill in the smaller gallon bucket it doesn't get everywhere. I got a bucket for my uh, top sand so I could go ahead and put it on and I got some rubber gloves. Now while I'm getting prepared, I just wanted to give you a... Alright, so we're ready to mix. According to the instructions here, it says pour all of part A, which is the goo, in. Then all of part B. What's, what's interesting about this is, with the original, uh, formula you have to mix with water and knowing how much to do was kind of tough so this is actually going to make it work out really well because there's no measuring it's all here for you so I'm going to give it a little mix so you can get a little look in there this is way more liquefied than the original one was, which is very hard to install. This looks awesome. This looks like it's going to go in in two seconds. What's good about the cover also that I have here, not only does it going to block the stuff from shooting out, but I'm going to fill some of my applicator bottle with it, and I could cover the rest while I do that. <laughs> looks like we're good. I'm going to put the cover on, give it one last good shot. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. That is nice to see. Don't want to waste any of this stuff. So the next step, get the topping sand in a bucket so you can easily dump it on top. Oh, well, it's nice looking too. Now I'm going to take my applicator bottle. Probably should get a funnel for this, but I don't have one. Doesn't look like we're going to need it. Lid is going to come in handy, like I thought. Let's go apply it. Got to cut the tip. So we get a good size. Let's see how she goes. Just like putting mustard on a hot dog. I think I could actually come a little wider here. 
I'm impressed so far. All right, she's looking good. All right, let's get some of the good stuff on top. All right, I'm gonna do a bunch more and uh, we'll see how it goes. So whenever you do a project like this, as you do it a little bit more, you, you realize certain things, you get a little bit better, you get a certain process down. One thing that I've learned is, <clears throat> As you get to the edge of where you finish putting your last bead down, right over here, I'm not sure if you can see it, um, it gets lower. So bring your top sand up to the edge, but don't go all the way. This way when you put your next round on, you can make it equally as high as the rest. It won't look funny. is in the books and she's looking nice. I'm very very impressed with this stuff. Off to mix a new one. Barbecue, but this is where I'm at so far and uh, it looks awesome. Can't wait for it to fully cure and get what I found as I went like right here is <laughs> that's just perfection right there. You gotta leave the the goo mixture a little bit lower than the edges or else it gets a little chunky like it is right here, a little high. So if you leave the goo a little bit lower so that you can put the gravel on and it totally evens out with the coping, you're in business and it will look good.